Hello, good morning. Welcome to Pilates. We're going to take an inhale to come up into breathing. I'm going to move my tennis ball up and exhale low. Good. And up and exhale and up and let your hands come down to your thighs and we're going to round the back like a Halloween cat. Lift your sternum, lift your tailbone, round your back, waking up the spine. One more like this, and then we're going to do rotation. So rotate right, rotate left, and inhale, and exhale. Start feeling some blood flow, some synovial fluid in the joints. Warm it up. Go all the way up, and when you're tall, go over. Now this is dynamic, so go up and over. Inhale, breathe into the rib cage that's getting stretched. You might go over each time you're stretching. One more each. And bring those heels out to heavy your toes out and pull down eight times. And seven and start waking up your hips. Six, right in here, in here. Five, your knees track with your second toe. Four, three, two, and hold here and open up your shoulders and wake up your back and two neck is always easy and clean it's just the muscles of the chest and the back we're waking up the legs now we're going to take a moment to go all the way up stand all the way up walk your feet in together lift up your arms and lift up your heels now go out to the side lift up your heels lift up your arms Lift up your heels each time. We're just changing the arm pattern. It's to the front. It's out wide. It's to the front. And breathing fully, getting bigger. Inhales, bigger exhales. And four more. And three more. And two. And one. Now open up the feet a little bit wider. And in lower. You can inhale and then exhale. Now, as you do this, if your neck gets a feeling of congestion or tightness as you go down to try to look at the camera or your device, just you can tuck your chin a little so your neck is easy no matter what part of the squat you're in. Four, three, two, and on the one, we're going to take a balance pose. So lift up your right leg, draw circles. Do five circles, trying to keep that foot off the floor. So if you have to touch, it'll be a dab and you get right back up. Now five the other way. Five. You can either leave the arms where they are or you can add the arms as part of a circle. Now we're going to do five on the other leg each way. Five. Four. Another uh, modification would be hands down on your hips and do it the other way. Five, dynamic balance. Four, three, two. Now this is for the glutes and the back. So lean over hinge, lift up your leg 10 times, trying to balance, trying not to touch the floor. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Lower that foot, take it to the other leg, hinge, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now bring that foot down, inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring your hands down. You're gonna put your feet back. Walk out your down dog pose, bend one knee, bend the other. Lift both heels lower. Leave the heels low, hold. And then lift up to your lower back, middle back, upper back, and go into an up dog. Inhale and tuck your chin, articulate your spine and put your heels down. Lift up through your heels and go inhale. And exhale, tuck and lift up and inhale and exhale and lift and 
exhale. Now these should feel amazing, but you can go at your own pace. If you need to modify your knees and hands can be done and you could do a cat cow on all fours. All right, one more. I might have set that up again, uh, but we're just doing this one more time. Now go back, down dog. Hold five, four, three, two, and one. Now let your knees down. Open up your right arm and your right leg will lengthen. Lift up, breathe and stretch. Lift up, now make sure your knee is comfortable. So I have two mats, or you could put a doubled up mat if your knee needs more cushion. Breathe in, stretch even through your fingers. And you're gonna put that hand down and switch it up. Now your other hand reaches up, your other leg stretches out, breathe. And then come down. Now your elbows are going to be on the on the mat. Forearms. You're going to put out your toes. Now you're in a plank and hold. Now side plank and hold. Stretch stretch out through your fingers as well. Now the other side plank and hold. Stretch out through your top hand. Big breathing. And then lower and reverse table or reverse plank. Lift. Ten. Inhale and lower your hips. Now you're going to roll down about 10 counts, 10. Right before you get down, hands behind your head, add rotation, try 20 crisscross abdominals, belly in, ribs down, five, six, seven, eight, belly in, you're doing great, 10 more, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Happy baby for five, four, three, two. Both feet down, lift up and down bridge. Two, three, four. Now do that or lift up a leg and take five bridges, five, Four, three, two, put that foot down and lift up and down and do five bridges. Two, three, four, five, put the feet down and do five more bridges with both feet down. Two, three, four, hold the bridge. Five, four, three, two, Lower bridge, hands to your feet, and happy baby. Five. Lift up. Now, right leg up, left leg low. Take the left leg up and right leg low. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Now try toes back for 10. If you need to rest in between, that's fine. Or if you need to put a pillow under your head. If the neck hurts, one trick when we do these abs is to leave a pillow slightly underneath your head so you don't have to pick your head up so much. It's easier to um, feel that sensitivity if the back is rounded and uh, in the upper back. So hug your legs and take that right and left. Rocking. Now come back down to a bridge, but put your right ankle to your left thigh. Go up and down. This time 10 reps on one foot. The other hip is sort of getting this little tiny stretch. 
not a big one, but we'll get it in a moment. Now you're going to take 10 on the other side, right foot down, left ankle on the thigh, go 10 up and down. Yep. Breathing in and out. Now both feet down, pause, lift up your heels if you can. Now when your heels are up, take 10 little pulses with your glutes up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, lower down. And then take your hands to your feet. Your knees are a little wider like you're a butterfly. Five. Now, hands behind your head, lift up your legs. Now, rotate your torso towards the leg that's vertical, and you're lowering the other leg. You're rotating as you keep your knees long. Your hamstring will tell you how long to keep them, but do try to stretch out through your legs. Point, and feel your belly pull in. Now, flex, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now put your right ankle on your left thigh. We're going to touch that hip opener for a bit. And six, and seven, and eight, and nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. If you're uh, wanting to add on, take some ankle rolls about five each way and point and flex about five each way. All right, try the other side, ankle to thigh. You can rock here or roll or move your hips. Okay. Roll your ankles. All right, take a full body stretch, arms overhead. Now inhale, and as you're ready, exhale, peel up. And if you're finding it's hard to do that, what we'll do is an, you'll do is an abbreviated roll down. So if you find that hard, just do this part. But if you're okay to go all the way down, you can. So you are figuring out for you if you need to go all the way down the roll up, or if you just stay partial, roll up and roll down. Now inhale and the arms go up. Exhale and the arms and the torso go over. And inhale, we're gonna add on a possibility which is called frame the face or picture frame. The possibility looks like your picture, your arms are a frame and you have this longer lever. Oh, good, inhale and up and over. You see how that's harder? But you could make it to where you change your arms loader in the hard parts if that's the sticking point. And two, whoops, roll, roll, roll. And one more. Up and over and roll down. And when you get down, full body stretch, arms long. Take your hands beside your hips, lift up your right leg, draw circles in the air. This is leg circles for eight. Keep your shoulders glued to the floor. Keep your ribs glued to the floor. Five, six, seven. Now eight the other way. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now catch the leg in the air behind your hamstring and point and flex, point and flex, point and flex, and then flex and hold 10. You're really focusing on that hamstring, but it is okay if you feel your hip flexor on the other leg. Inhale, exhale, lower that leg and take the other leg up. Draw circles, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, 
two. Now we're going to go the other way direction. Eight, seven, rinse her down. Six, five. We'll be catching that leg up in the air. Hold on to the underside, point and flex the foot and reach through your toes, spread them out, point and flex. And then pull the toes back and hold. There's this emphasis on the hamstring stretch. Relax your neck. The other leg's pouring down. Both hands to your feet, pull the knees down. And we're gonna take another stretch. So, uh, sorry, another abdominal, double leg stretch. So hug your shins in and make a little ball. Now the first stage is reach your arms and your legs out and then hug the shins again. Do it again, modify, reach out, hug. If you would like to add on, you can take your hands behind your head, lift up, touch your elbows to your knees and then lengthen your legs, open your elbows. Touch your elbows to your knee, lengthen, touch, Lengthen. Now, when you reach out with your legs, that's the hard part. So keep your ribs down. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, put your feet on the floor, curl your spine up, ridge, lift your right leg, and the whole leg lowers towards the floor in this long leg pull, this long reach. Four, really tall, really low. Five, point flex. Six, the other glute is up in the air. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to put that foot down on the mat and lift up your left leg and lower. Two, three, four, five. Six, eight, nine, and lower that foot. Inhale. Now change the arms up, interlace them underneath your body, and just sort of walk your flesh and your shoulders underneath. You're in a bridge stretch for ten. Now release your hands and really try to go down one vertebra at a time for your low back. Hug your legs in and move your feet a little, move your back right and left. Inhale, leave your head down and begin to put your legs in a circle like you're bicycling a, a, in a circle here. Now that could be your move or bicycle further away or come up for six bicycles. Either way, on the sixth one of whatever you're doing, we're going to land on our tush and grab a step. So take three more. If you want it harder, press your arms. Take two more. Take one more. Come up. Grab your step and place your feet out in front. Good job so far. So we're just working continuously. Legs out. Go out like a T with your arms and go up and over. Inhale, you may notice you can go all the way down to your forearm. If not, just go to your hand. You may try to keep your opposite pelvis anchored to the floor. It's not rigid though. It's just that you're reaching the uh, sides of your body long. Beautiful, four, thank you. Three, two, now hold on to one side and hold. And if you're having that urge, you can try rotation. Breathing. And go up over to the other side and breathe and rotate. Place uh, an inhale to come up. Both arms are behind you. Reverse table or reverse plank. Lift up. Ten. Eight, lower. Now both hands are holding and roll your wrist. 
and lower your wrist. Open up your arms. I like to check my space here so you can have plenty of room. Rotate. Now, is one side easier to rotate than the other? I'm a little tighter as I go less, so just giving that a little conscious attention. Try not to let your feet uh, stretch past the other. In other words, your hips are stable. Now, we're going to hold a side. Any side's fine. We're going to do both, but hold. Open up your arms, go to the other, hold. Now bring it to the front again. This is going to be tricep dips. So the possibility is reverse table. But if you would like to add on, bend your elbows and push, bend your elbows and push, bend and push. Bend and push, bend and push, 10. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Now have a seat, put one arm forward, pull the fingers down, and you're giving yourself an assist on the stretch. Yep, neck is easy, good Michelle. Pull down on the other hand. Let your hand help you. Drop the shoulders. Nice. Yeah. Catch all those fingers. Try the other way. Pull. Yes. So good. I need these every day. I'm hoping you're feeling benefit. Now the other side, we use our hands so much. Five. And notice your neck is easy. This is called the saw. Open up your legs, pull your toes back so you have some length. Rotate first, then reach for your finger. Pinky goes to your finger, your pinky toe. Rotate and reach. Rotate and reach. Rotate and reach. Rotate and reach. All right, four more. Three, two, and one. Now inhale and just go towards those toes and breathe. Ten. Five. Two. And one. Now gently come up, grab a sip. We're going to be doing some plank series. So we want to be hydrated before then. And I'm going to put this in front. So your forearms are down on the mat. You're going to be up in a plank. Now in this plank, you're going to lift your hips up like a dolphin pose. And then lower to plank. Now lift your hips up like a dolphin. Lower to plank. Lift. Lower. Lift. Lower. Now two more. All right, now we're going to rest for just a moment as we turn to our side. Let your top hand be uh, on your skull so that you have a triangle with your arm. Lift up your hip. Rotate with that exhale. Your hips don't rotate. They stay still. Now, lower your hip, and we're going to go to the other side. Inhale and rotate. All right, we're going to go back to the side plank. Now, if you want a variation, put your foot up on the calf or the inner thigh and hold the tree in your side plank 10. Take another inhale. On your exhale, more. Now we're going to go to the other side. Side plank. 
Now your foot could be on your inner thigh or your calf. Hold. Take another inhale and exhale lower. Nice. Now reverse plank, reverse table is a possibility of a modification. I would like to offer our bound ankle and you can lift up your right leg and then your left leg if you want a challenge two, three. So you can do any of those that I said, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now lower, and this is a different stretch, thumbs to fingers. Now flip your fingers and it's more ulnar nerve. And it's almost like someone's pulling you up by your arms, your triceps, your uh, ulnar nerve. Now also reach out like a T, but pull your fingers under and take them back. This is the full arm stretch. Flip your palms the other way. Oops. Shall we, Cheryl, take a neck stretch? <laughs> Why not? Everybody will benefit from a neck stretch. Um, what I'm doing is keeping the spine long, thoracic, but the neck itself gets a stretch. Now up, it's almost like you're going over a fence and then over. Now see, uh, see how my spine's long, so I'm not bending over, just the neck. This arm reaches. Now both hands go to your skull and chin tuck. Now elbows can go underneath. One more, this is like a diagonal. So I always have this image of a flower on the collar. So it's kind of diagonal. Cool. If you're not sure, if you don't feel it, move around a little, you'll find something. There's a levator scapula that really needs it usually. Lift up and to kind of diagonally down to the left. All right, let's just shake it out. Let's see how that's going. And then go to your forearm plank. Good, feels good, right? A long swan neck, that's what we want. Bring it down to the uh, front plank. Now the next front plank option is forward and back from the toes. Push through your toes, drop back through your heels. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now turn sideways. One hand on your thigh, you're going to paint the sky. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, nice. And on this next one, bring your uh, forearm plank, both arms. This is your main move, is the forearm plank. If you want to add on, you can put your left hand down, your right hand down. Left elbow down, right elbow down. Now right hand down, left hand down, right elbow down, left. Now if you don't want that, stay put on your plank. Otherwise, left hand, right hand push up, left forearm, right forearm. Now right hand, left hand push up, right forearm, left forearm. Pause. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Rest your pelvis. Press up, neck is easy, hold swan. Lower, we're gonna do that two more times, inhale, come up swan. 
elbows point down towards the floor. And lower. One more time. Up. And lower. And hands beside your hips and go up. Torso, legs. Now, hands interlace and go up. Lower, interlace your fingers and go up. Rest your hands underneath your forehead. Lift up both legs and flutter kick vertically. Tap the feet together horizontally. And then go up with your upper body. Let your hands assist you if you want to add that on. Uh, if you don't, just do your upper body without your hands. Then lower down and lift your legs. And then lift your torso. Lower your torso. And this is just at your own pace, then your legs. Just enjoy. It doesn't even matter where anyone else is. All you're doing is doing the upper body, then the lower, uh, then the legs. And just enjoy. One more complete upper and lower body. And then hold your upper body up again. Ten. Elbows are pointed towards the floor. Your neck is just as easy as you can get it. Breathing, lifting up your belly. Now, when you're ready, child pose of some sort. I'm going to offer that you do a toe under child pose. It's a really nice one for the feet. Now, grab a sip, and we're going to be doing a cat-cow-beast variation. Mm. And it would be like this, cat-cow, hands and knees. So this is going to be where you stay if it just doesn't serve you to lift up. Curl your toes, lift your shins, and then round and extend and round, and extend and round, and extend and round, and extend. Now stay rounded. Right knee under, put it back. Left knee under, put it back. Right knee under, put it back. Left knee under, put it back. It's like a little baby running man. Little baby run. Four, three, two, one, rest and bend your elbows. So you're patting yourself on the back. Now, um, I'm gonna grab another sip, grab one if you would like. We're gonna do a set of push-ups, and the um, possibility is that you can come up and do it on the wall standing. You can do it on the hands and knees, that like that, Karen, good. Or on the knees, like a modified plank. Try 15, good. God, neck is easy. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, uh, child's pose or rest, we're going to do another set of 10. So if you're standing and you prefer to stand, just stay up. Inhale. And just know you can always do a plank instead on your forearms if you need to. Good, Cheryl. That's perfect. Good, Michelle. All right, another 10. I like the standing variations. You can get as far away from the wall as you want or even use a sturdy piece of furniture. Three, four, five, six. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, however you are, take a tricep stretch where you cut yourself on the back. You lean over. And then stretch tricep and lean over. Listen to your body, but this is the option. Hips to the left, center, hips to the right. Hips to the left, center, hips to the right. In general, you'd like to have that mobility. If that's just not working out, you can take a, a cat cow or some other thing that helps your body. All right, good. Now, let your feet cross. Uh, you have probably seen this. It, this this exercise recycles every few years, I notice, in the fitness industry and into pop culture, but you it's a functional use test. Cross your ankles. Notice which one's in front. We're going to do both. So if you can, come up and down. Now, I'm going to sit all the way down, but let me give you an option. Let's say you think you're close. Put a block or a pillow or a chair. I'm going to pretend I've got this. And then see how you can come up and down. Now cross the other way. Now the other trick is you just touch and you say that's a point. Your goal is to have fewer points. So like let's say you need two hands, that's two points. Now I'm going to show you just correctly. I mean, you know, yeah, up and then just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to switch it. It's a it's an indicator of healthy aging. And it's a it's like your functional age. So how'd we do? We look good. <laughs> Go up and forward. Now relax. This is a hamstring stretch, but I like to add the toes. Pull those back. Either stay here, or if you would like to do a balance pose, lift up your feet, stretch out. But if you're not wanting to do that, just do your stretch. Oh. Shoulders are down. Now together, this is a hamstring stretch. Now out and in five. <laughs> As I show perfect form and fall back. Four, three, two, and one. Really good. Grab a sip if you need it. We're going to take a set of 21 planks. Uh, I'm going to do forearm option, but you can do hand option. You do what you need. But I'm going to also put my mat down. Forearms. So one is first plank, and then you open up to your side plank, so it's two. Then you go three, and then you open up four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and hold for 21. 1, 5, 10, 14, 18, 21. Rest your pelvis sphinx or push up swan. Breathe into your upper back. Neck easy. Now there is an option I'm going to do, which is bow pose. If that doesn't serve you, do one foot at a time or just do this sphinx. So if you're doing bow, you reach, you reach, you come up. Relax, we're gonna do it again, or the other foot, if you only have one, come up. And then either 
uh, child, excuse me, either a squat or heavy baby. So I'm going to show you what I mean by squat. The, the stretch, the squat, not a, uh, not the work squat. So palms. Yeah. The malasana is it in Sanskrit and you're resting, you're stretching. Everybody looks really good. I want to show one foot at a time in another stretch. So put your left shin underneath you, push forward. Yep. And lean into your, 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 your torso is on your leg. Lean forward. Now, um, look up, I'm going to show you this, but you don't have to do it, but you see how I am. You can just switch. Nice. I think that ought to be in the functional youth test, right? All right. <laughs> We've got our own functional youth test. That was pretty cool, guys. Lean forward. Now, I have noticed one leg's a tiny bit tighter. See what you notice. And you may notice there's a tendency or it's from an activity. Mine's a tendency. The left leg is just a tiny bit shorter and so it, it presents with tighter muscles. So make it where you feel an edge of mild discomfort, but no pain. Also, you can hold that side a, minute, a, a bit longer. Now, another stretch is to just Sit on your shins. This is three of the four quads, but I'm going to add on. Can you put your hands behind you and lift up? Now you've got that fourth quad. Inhale. And yes, exhale. Yeah, just do the best you can. Perfect. Now your hands go to the front. Good, Karen. Hands to the front. Now stretch out your legs. Walk them out. Kind of get some blood flow in those hammies. Now we're gonna lift up the heels and curl the back and go into up dog. Five of these, inhale and tuck. And just like at the beginning, it's kind of like we're putting a bookend on the class. Inhale and tuck. And inhale and exhale. And two. And one more. And one. Nice, hold. See if your left foot can help your right heel get a deeper stretch. See if your right foot can help your left heel get a deeper stretch. Both heels down. And then sit on your tush, grab a sip. And um, this is a, this is out of an arthritis exercise handbook, but try to stretch one thumb all by itself. Now stretch out your first finger, or just really stretch it. Now the third, while you do this, you're trying to keep the other ones in. Now the fourth, see how the other ones want to go along? Now the fifth. Now pull the thumb in, try to keep the other finger straight. Pull the first finger in, you can catch it, but really stretch out your other ones. Now the third one, pull in. Now the fourth one, pull. Now notice um, how they want to go along for the ride. All right, now interlace and stretch. Circles about five each way. Either do prayer pose next down here or prayer pose behind you. Now the thing about prayer pose is it's, if it's behind you, the higher you go, the more stretch it is. With prayer pose in front of you, the lower you go, the more stretch it is. So all you want to do is make sure you have a stretch. Now leave one hand back and catch your elbow, catch your hand. Breathe in. And other, breathe in. Nice, Jean. Good, you can always help your elbow out, that was good. You got it, now legs out front. This is the rack, go up and back and up and back. Now lift your heart. If you don't feel it, walk your hands closer to each other and or further away from your tush. Lift your heart. Breathe. And again, pull fingers forward and down. So you've got this forearm stretch. 
and do it on the other side, pull down. Uh, if you want one more step, grab it. We're going to do rotational roll downs. <clears throat> I like a soft knee bend and it helps encourage flexion. Go down right-ish, go down left-ish. Right and left. And right and left. Four more. And if you need a modification, go down early and do a rotational stretch. Inhale. Everybody's good. Okay, so we're going to go down, but we're going to take about 15 counts. One, six, 10, 15 full body stretch. Right leg across. Uh, left hand holds it there, right arm out like a T. Turret the twist. Let your eyes close and enjoy. You've done a great job. You deserve a relaxing stretch, a replenishment, a rejuvenation. By letting the eyes close, by breathing in the nose, filling up the diaphragm, filling up the lungs. We're helping to create a parasympathetic healing response to rebuild what we deliberately broke down in order to get stronger. The vagus nerve is stimulated. If you can drag the breath across the back of the throat, kind of like you're whispering, but with your mouth closed, that, that drag or like you're breathing in on a cold air and you want to see your breath, but with your mouth closed, you'll stimulate the vagus nerve too that way. Now we're going to go to the other side. Knee down twist. Eyes closed. Breathe so you feel the breath on the back of the throat if you can. And then bring it back and then take your right leg up. But if you want to do this with a Pilates ring or Donovan, it's a nicer assist. You can also do this with a, a, a prop underneath your uh, booty, a sacral block, a yoga block, or a, a foam roller. But grab your leg and hold. Okay. And take that leg across the midline a little bit too. And out to the side. If you've been feeling some low back tightness lately, these hip stretches sure are good for that. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, Michelle. All right, so it's so good, it's hard to get out, isn't it? It's always like, ah, it feels so good. But when you do the other one, all of a sudden it feels great now. Oh, other leg up. Notice how good it feels to have the other leg get pulled down or like gravity's assisting that one. That leg goes across. Now 
That leg goes out. <clears throat> And now you're <clears throat> letting that go and releasing and take a right ankle to left thigh hip opener. No, you want it like a pillow under your head for this. And you like to rock. If you can, let your exhale be a little longer than your inhale. So if you're inhaling for a count of five, you're exhaling for a count of eight. Take the other hip opener. If it's going okay, you might inhale for five and exhale for 10. Now we're gonna put legs up on the wall. If you would like to do this with a block, you can. Or a and just go up, inhale. And again, try a few cycles of that breathing in for five. And exhaling out for eight or 10. And when you're ready, release the block and slowly come out of there until you're in a seated position that serves you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do a little delta brain activity. So both hands, it's just like a stroke, a passing over. And you're not, don't worry about doing it wrong. It's whatever your body's speed is, just sort of one hand over the other. You know those studies when they have someone in pain and someone holds their hand, the pain centers reduce the perception of pain, even if they don't know the person. So we have powerful sensors on our hand. Now the arms can cross and then go down to your elbow. You can close your eyes if you want. The delta brain is, waves are increasing. Now the last one is over the eyes, under the eyes, and then down on the jaw. And then over and under and down to the jaw. And just over. Don't worry if it is if you you know there's no um it's okay if it's a little deviation. If it's more fingertip or less fingertip, just sort of find what good is good. Now I'm adding to this a gentle behind the ear for vagus nerve. Just I'm taking two fingers because I have little ears, but maybe you have maybe three feels better. It doesn't matter. I know some people like two fingers in front, two fingers in back. It doesn't matter. Just feel it. Now stroke down the throat just gently. I just want you to have a toolbox, big toolbox full of all of these self soothing tools. And even beyond self-soothing, it's elevation. So just sort of, even if you feel content, it's sort of increasing that frequency. Now the hand can go to the heart and just notice how you feel. 
And we're gonna intend that we know we have all these tools for recalibration, rebalancing, or even leveling up from our current state of uh, feeling great. We have all these tools, we're gonna to use them whenever we need it. That's our main job is to make sure we're in balance, to feel good, and then everything else works better from that filled cup place. With so much appreciation, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know you did so good. Take care, guys. Bye.